Hey everybody, this is Shannon here with Journey to Peace and today I wanted to talk about loving kindness meditation. The loving kindness meditation is a meditation that is meant to evoke a very natural state in us, which is kindness. There are 18 science-backed reasons to try loving-kindness meditation. I will list some of the ones that I've benefited from personally and will link the article so that you can maybe read that over to see if there are any that resonate with you. Some of the benefits that I've seen in loving-kindness meditations are increase in positive emotions and a decrease in negative emotions. So in a landmark study, Barbara Fredrickson and her colleagues found that practicing seven weeks of loving kindness meditation increased love, joy, contentment, gratitude, pride, hope, interest, amusement, and awe. These positive emotions then produced increases in a wide range of personal resources. Um, another benefit uh, that I've personally experienced is emotional intelligence in the brain. So we know that the brain is shaped by our activities. While regularly practicing loving-kindness meditation activates and strengthens areas of the brain responsible for empathy and emotional intelligence. So another benefit of loving-kindness meditation, which is one of my favorites, is that it slows biological aging. Hello, how does it do this? We know that stress decreases telomere length. Telomeres are these tiny bits of genetic material that are biological markers of aging. And there was a study that found that women with experience in loving kindness meditation had relatively longer telomere length compared to age matched controls. So go ahead and throw out the expensive anti-aging creams and get out your meditation cushion because if that's not a reason to practice loving kindness meditation, I don't know what is. All right, so the other benefit of loving kindness meditation is increased compassion. So there was a, um, a recent review of mindfulness-based interventions that, that show that loving kindness meditation may be the most effective practice for increasing compassion. Um, so that is, uh, should be in the article that I'm going to be linking in the description below so that you can read a little bit more about that. Here's the other one that's one of my favorite benefits is it curbs self-criticism. There was a study that found that loving kindness meditation was effective for self-critical individuals in reducing that self-criticism and it showed that it improved self-compassion and positive emotions. That study showed that these changes were maintained three months after the study was done. So if any of those reasons sounded like something that you would want to benefit from, go ahead and click the link to the loving kindness meditation. And thank you as always for joining me on my journey to peace. And thanks for coming along with me. And if no one's told you lately, you are strong and beautiful and add something so special to this world. And I'm happy you're here.